Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Explore the Bible. So I know that I said we were going to read chapter 25 and 26 in this in my episode on Monday, but unfortunately I have a midterm tomorrow that I have to study for so I can't um, spend a lot of time editing and the longer I read, the more subtitles I have to put in, the longer I edit. So we're just going to do chapter 25 because I didn't want to leave you guys without a video, but it's just going to be a little bit shorter than I had hoped. So chapter 25. Abraham had taken his wife, whose name was Keturah, she bore him Zerama, Jokshan, Medan, Midian, Ishbak, and Shua. Jokshan was the father of Sheba and Dedan. The descendants of Dedan were the Asherites, the Leth Letishites, and the Lumanites. The sons of Medea were Epha, Epher, Hanok, Abida, and Elda. These were all descendants of Keturah. Abraham left everything he owned to Isaac. But while he was still living, he gave gifts to the sons of his concubines and sent them away from his son Isaac to the land of the east. Abraham had lived 175 years. Then Abraham breathed his last and died at a good old age. An old man and full of years, and he was gathered by his people. His sons Isaac and Ishmael burned him in the cave of the Machpelah near Mamre, in the field of Ephron, son of Zohar the Hittite. The field Abraham had brought, bought from the Hittites. There Abraham was buried with his wife Sarah. After Abraham's death, God blessed his son Isaac, who then lived near Beer the Hoy Roy. This is the account of the family line of Abraham's son Ishmael, and Sarah's slave Hagar the Egyptian, bore to Abraham. These are the names of the son Ishmael listed in the order of their birth. Just a quick um, interruption. Ignore me if I pronounce these wrong. I'm trying. Nebaioth, the firstborn of Ishmael, Kedar, Abil, Midsam, Mishma, Duma, Masa, Hadad, Tema, Jeter, Naphish, and Kadima. These were the sons of Ishmael, and these are the names of the twelve tribal rulers according to their settlements and camps. Ishmael had lived 137 years. He breathed his last and died, and he was gathered to his people. His descendants settled in an area of Havala and Tashur, near the eastern border of Egypt, as you go towards Asher. They lived in hostility towards all the tribes related to them. This is the account of the family line of Abraham's son, Isaac. Abraham became the father of Isaac, and Isaac was 40 years old when he married Rebekah, daughter of Bethuel and Aramin, from the Padan Aram, and sister of the Laban Aramin. Isaac prayed to the Lord on behalf of his wife because she was childless. Then the Lord answered his prayer, and his wife, Rebekah, became pregnant. The babies jost jostled each other within her, and she said, Why is this happening to me? Then she went to inquire of the Lord. The Lord said to her, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other. The older will serve the younger. When time came for her birth, there were two twin boys in her womb. The first came out, was red, and his whole body was angry like a hairy garment. So they named him Esau. After his brother came out with his hand grasping Esau's heel, so he was named Jacob. Isaac was 60 years old when Rebekah gave birth to them. The boys grew up and Esau became a skillful hunter. A man opened a country while Jacob was content to stay home among the tents. Isaac, who had a taste for wild game, loved Esau, but Rebekah loved Jacob. Once Jacob was cooking some stew, Esau came from the open country famished. He said to Jacob, Quick, let me have some of that red stew. I'm famished. Jacob replied, First, sell me your birthright. Look, I'm about to die, Esau said. What is a good what is what good is a birthright to me? But Jacob said, Swear to me first. So he swore an oath to him, selling his birthright to Jacob. Then Jacob gave Esau some bread and some lentil stew. He ate and drank and then got up and left. So Esau despised his birthright. So, like I said, I am extremely sorry if I pronounced any of those wrong. Um, I really have no clue how to pronounce those. I'm trying my best. Um, I do look them up before, but then when I start reading, I just forget. Like, it's, I need to have, like, a, like, something that pronounces them for me or something. But, um, this chapter, it's like that I have, it's, um, kind of like a theme that I've been seeing here. All these chapters about Abraham, uh, are talking about his respected how well he was respected he died with all of his friends surrounded by his friends and he was buried with Sarah and then we see that that is passed on to his sons his sons die uh, Isaac 
um, not Isaac, Ishmael, die with the respect that he had because he passed it on because he trusted the Lord and did what the Lord said and the Lord promised that he would make great nations out of his son so that became true. Um, so I think it's just important to, to learn how to trust the Lord and whenever we're having issues trusting the Lord think about Abraham because he uh, took his son to be um, to kill he almost killed his son for the Lord and that is extremely important for us to just think wow how could he do that whenever he didn't even know like they don't even know, like Noah. Noah didn't even know what rain was, but he trusted the Lord. So things like this is really important for us to realize, especially when we're going through a tough time. Just remember, trust the Lord, uh, pray to him and ask for his word. And like I said in yesterday's video, if you listened, that um, verse that I talked about was just talking about uh, listening to the Lord and hearing his word among others. So I pray that all of you can find his word in your heart and uh, but be able to listen and clear all the other things from your head and just hear his voice clearly and trust him the way that Abraham and Noah both did. So I hope you guys had a good day. God bless.